students, good day. So again, this is Teacher Teresa. Another week, another topic. So last time, um, we already started Unit 4. And, you know, we discussed about different transportation that we can see and write as well. Like car, car, <clears throat> car bus, what else? Taxi, what else? Bike or bicycle, okay, things like that. There, those are some um transportation that we commonly see around us. And this time, let's move on to activity letter B, which is all about speaking. Okay, so we will be focusing on um, the macro skills, which is about speaking. And our aim for this lesson is to talk about your routine. Okay, your routine. Now, everybody, if you have your book, and you get that book and also pen, because we're going to use that one today. And let's have some vocabulary activity here first. All you need to do is you need to listen and number, okay? So you need to listen and write numbers 1 to 10 within the circles, okay? So if you're ready, let's start. Sorry. Track 4-3. Number 1. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Number 2. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Number three. Go to practice. Go to practice. Number four. Do my homework. Do my homework. Number five. Play a game. Play a game. Number six. Get dressed. Get dressed. Number seven. Wake up. Wake up. Number eight. Clean my room. Clean my room. Number nine. Make my bed. Make my bed. Number ten. Pack my bag. Pack my bag. All right. So I hope you listen carefully to that one. And let's answer or let's try to answer this one. Okay. So. Number one is here, go to sleep, go to bed. Okay, next, number two, brush my teeth. Again, brush my teeth. Next, go to practice. Okay, number four, do my homework. Next, number five, play a game. Next, number six, get dressed. Number seven, wake up. Eight, Clean my room, 9, make my bed, and number 10, pack my bag. Okay, so please take note of the answers. And for you to be able to understand these words or these phrases, I also translate them into Thai. Okay, for you to understand them better. Okay, so let's start with wake up. With the word wake up. Wake up, pewalai. Okay, so this is the meaning in Thai. Please write it down as well or take note of that. Next, get dressed. This is the meaning in Thai. Nine, make my bed. This is the meaning in Thai. Next, go to practice. This is the meaning in Thai. I don't know how to read these words because I can't read um, Thai characters. So, you know, if you know how to read it, you just need to practice it. Or you need to read them out. Next, uh, play a game. This is the meaning in Thai. Go to sleep or go to bed. Next, uh, brush my teeth. This is the meaning in Thai. And next is pack my bag. This is the meaning in Thai. Do my homework. Okay, and the last one, clean my room. This is the meaning in Thai. So please write all of these in your book or in your notebook. Students, and if you're finished, let's answer exercise number two. So exercise number two, it says here, listen and write the vocabulary word you hear. 
Okay, so I will play the audio here and you need to write the word or phrases that you can hear on the audio. You can just, you know, look for the word or phrases here in um, exercise number one. So if you're ready, let's start. Track 4-4 four four. Number 1 What time did you wake up? At 7 Number 2 This place is so messy. I'm sorry, I'll clean my room. Number 3 No television until you do your homework. Okay, Mom, I'll do my homework now. Number 4 What do you want to do? I want to play a game. Number 5 Are you done eating? Yes, I will brush my teeth now. Number 6 It's 11 o'clock. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll go to bed now. Alright, so I hope you listen carefully to that one. And let's try to answer this. Okay, so the first word, or the first phrase is wake up. Okay, next, number 2 Clean my room. Number 3 do my homework or play a game. Five, brush my teeth and number six, go to bed. Okay, so please take note of the answer, students. So if you're finished writing, let's move on to another exercise here. So in this time, in exercise number three, it uh, we were going to focus on expressions telling the time. Okay, so it says here, Listen and write the time in each blank. So we have six blanks here. And all we need to do is we need to listen first and you need to write the answers on each blank. Okay? So I believe that you can do that, students. And if you're ready, let's listen. Track 4-5 Number 1 3 o'clock Number 2 520. Number 3. Quarter past 6. Number 4. Quarter to 9. Number 5. Half past 4. Number 6. Quarter to 7. Alright, so obviously you can see some words here like quarter to, quarter past, and half past. Okay, so let's answer first or let's try to answer first um, this one. So number one is three o'clock, two is five twenty, next quarter past six, next quarter to nine, next half past four, and number six, quarters to seven. Alright, so teacher, I don't know what is the meaning of these words or phrases. So for you to able to understand them better, uh, let's um Translate them in Thai. Okay, so the word quarter two is this one. So this is the meaning in Thai. So please take note of these students. Next, quarter past, this is the meaning in Thai. And half past, this is the meaning in Thai. Okay, so please take note of that. You can write it on your book or notebook. And let's move on and, you know, answer more exercises about telling time here okay so you need to uh, observe the short and long hand in the clock and we're going to use the expressions here like example number this one the first clock here how do you use the expressions here in in this um in in this clock reading or telling time so example half past eight because obviously the long hand is already in here so instead of saying 8 30 you'll just say half past eight okay next another one okay you observe the short and long hand so the short hand is pointing at eight and the long hand is pointing at nine so if you're going to use the expression here it should be Quarter to eight, okay? Quarter to eight. Next, this one, okay? So let's observe the short and long hand. So the short hand is pointing at number five, 
and the long hand is pointing at number three. So, what should um, expression we're going to use? So, instead of saying 5.15, it should be quarter past five. Okay, next, another one. Okay, so here, as you can see, the short hand is pointing at number two. And the long hand is pointing at number 12. So what should we put here about telling the time? So obviously this is what we call two o'clock, okay? As long as, take note students, as long as the long hand is pointing at number 12, we were going to use o'clock, all right? Next number or the next um, time here, uh, obviously the short hand is pointing at number 10 and the long hand is pointing at number six the same with this one right so we're going to use half past ten okay half past ten and the last one okay so let's observe um, the, the short hand is pointing at 12 and the long hand is pointing at 9 so the same with this one as well right so we were going to use quarter to 12, okay? So I hope you understand that one. And let's move on to exercise five, okay? It says here, talk with a partner. So as of this moment, we cannot have, or we cannot do it like partner, but instead I will be your partner for this one, okay? So you're going to answer my question. So these are the questions. And this is the answer, okay? So I'm going to read this part and you're going to read this part. Can you do that one? Okay, so let's start. What time do you wake up? Okay, again, what time do you wake up? Okay, nice try. Next, what time do you go to sleep? Again, what time do you go to sleep? Okay, nice job. Next, let's move on to another slide. So this time, um, we're going to listen and match the activity with the time. So these are uh, those, um, sorry, we have some pictures here. So picture number one, um, obviously, the two people or person here is at the airport. Okay, so they are in the airport. Number two or picture number two. A child is playing football. Next, picture number three. Um, a student is in a live in the library, and picture number four. A girl is on the bus stop. Okay, so we have also here some dots. Okay, dots. So all you need to do is you need to draw the line for each picture to match the time, the correct time here. So we have ten o'clock. What's this? Um, half past two. This is quarter to seven. And this is quarter past six. Okay. So if you're ready, let's listen and answer this one. Track four dash six. Number one. What time is the flight? It is at 10 o'clock. Number two. What are you doing at half past two? I have soccer practice. Number three. Let's meet at the library to do our homework. Okay, let's meet at quarter past six. Number four. Why are you up so early? My bus leaves at quarter to seven. I'm late. All right, so let's try to answer this one. So the first picture is you need to connect that one in this one 10 o'clock okay next the second picture we're going to connect that one here okay half past two next the third picture will be here okay uh six quarter past six okay quarter past six and the last one is here this one okay quarter to seven so this is 10 o'clock half past two, quarter to seven, and quarter past six, okay? So take note of the answer, student. 
and yeah so this time we're going to fill in sarah's routine or this is a timetable so sarah's routine and eric's routine so it says here listen and complete the schedule okay so you're going to write the activity according to the time okay so we have here six o'clock um quarter past uh, quarter past six half past six seven o'clock half past seven quarter i uh, know three o'clock seven o'clock and nine o'clock okay next eric's routine seven o'clock um half half past seven three o'clock five o'clock seven o'clock nine o'clock this one is quarter past nine and ten o'clock okay so if you're ready let's listen carefully to the recording track four dash seven i wake up at six then i make my bed my mom makes breakfast for me i eat it at six thirty at seven i get dressed then i go to school I play basketball on the school team, so I have practice at 3. It ends at 6. I go home and eat. At 7, I do my homework. I usually have a little time to watch TV before I go to sleep. I'm in bed at 9, though. I wake up late. I wake up at 7. I get dressed and go to school. At 3... I go to my friend's house to play games. My mom comes home around 5, so I go home at that time too. She needs help cleaning, so I clean my room every day. I do my homework at 7. It takes me some time to finish. At 9, I brush my teeth, and then I pack my bag for the next day. I'm in bed by 10. All right. So I hope you listen carefully to that recording and let's try to answer uh, or let's try to complete Sarah's routine and Eric's routine, okay? So the first one is make my bed. Next is get dressed, have practice, eat or, you know, eat dinner and go to bed, okay? So please take note of the answer students and let's go to Eric's routine, okay? So Eric's routine, 7 o'clock he's wake up okay so three o'clock play games with her with his friend and number five or five o'clock he go home um seven o'clock he do his homework nine o'clock he brush his teeth and nine fifteen or ha quarter past nine is he he will pack his bag okay so please take note of that students and here in exercise number nine, it says here, write a schedule of your day. Talk with the partner. So all you need to do is you need to write activity here and the time that you're going to um, do that activity. So you're going to base here. Okay? This is an example on how you do it and how you're going to do your homework. So um, example here, seven o'clock, you will wake up what's next uh what's next time okay and the activity so you're going to fill all of this okay from morning afternoon and night okay so i hope you learned something from mini students and before we end our class let's have a short wrap up about our discussion today so today we discuss about routine okay routine um also expression and how to tell time in english and also you know you're going to use or going to make your own schedule by doing your homework all right so again this is teacher teresa thank you so much for listening and please keep safe always students hope to see you soon be good and Let's meet each other next week. Bye for now.